Howdy, 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 everybody, and welcome to Minecraft. <laughs> uh, I've had Minecraft for years, never thought to play it on the channel, but you know what? I need something. <laughs> Got to do something to kind of fill out the channel a little bit here and there. It's been kind of dry for new content most of the time. Um, so we're going to do some of that. Um, I hope there's not much in the way of buzzing. I do have my phone on vibrate, but it's on this little tray on my chair here. Um... But yeah, uh, you I'm gonna go through, set it up. Um, I didn't think of any kind of a name before going into this, so it's gonna be just uh, it's gonna be something because I'm actually gonna click into the window first. Oops. <laughs> no, not Brave New World, Brand New World, because I've got that 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 song that they released that they did for one of those Sword and Shield promos back when it was starting to come out. You know. It comes a brand new world. Y'all, that one? Yeah, that's been stuck in my head. So, setting difficulty to easy, mode creative, and I'm allowing cheats because I want to do some special things with it. Um, I'm even going to set up some stuff here. Um, let's see. I'm going to respawn immediately because, of course, I'll leave all the damage there. I'll leave my inventory there because, <laughs> yeah, uh, death teleporting back to camp is a good, good thing to allow you to do that. I'll leave the destructive actions. I'll turn them off. I'll turn them off this time around. Um, but I'm not going to have these guys naturally spawn. Now, I'll still hear them and find them in, like, dungeons or, or what have you. So that's going to be a thing. But I'm not just going to see them around in the overworld. Um, so if I go to the nether, I might run into some blazes here and there and what have you. If I find the proper place. And if I want to do the end dragon quest, I can do that. Um... But I think that's it. Yeah. Um, like I said, I'm starting in creative at the very least. That way I can, you know, because I want to build up my camp first and then start out from there. Uh, mainly because I like I like to put something together that's going to, yeah, that, that's going to, uh, what's the word I'm thinking of? It's going to be helpful in the long run. And and it'll it'll just it'll just be a fun time. Um, but I do have my own limits. Like, I'm going to limit myself to just, you know, what's going to be in there. I'm not going to build another portal out of it or anything. I don't, you know, I'm not going to do that. Um, I'll still go into survival mode for that one. But, uh, yeah, brand new world. I do have other worlds on here, but, uh, yeah, those are kind of private names. And, <laughs> you know, you have names that you name certain files, and you only want to keep them to yourself because, well, I mean... You know, not everybody needs to see those. You know, you got to have some privacy. Um, and no, I'm not telling you what they are. <laughs> All right. So I'm thinking, how how do I want to make this particular thing? Uh, I know what kind of setup I want for all my smelting. Because uh, I have just with it relatively recently you know, learned how to use hoppers and all of that. And I can always look up something to help me build like like a little contraption you put things in a chest that goes down to a furnace and once it's done in the furnace it comes back up into a different chest um but i don't know that by memory and that's what i'm going for with this right now even though i literally have two screens i could just pull it up on the other one like oh okay yeah yeah no not doing that <laughs> um so i'm i'm not going to build it out of anything that's that's like gold or iron or diamond or anything like that nothing valuable um you know what i think a terracotta sandstone no concrete eh. um you know what i saw these stone bricks and i think that's what we're gonna do brick stairs i know there's like stone brick um i, I think that's further up stone brick slabs there we go um grab some torches uh a chest and i oh well i could wait on that uh let's get the foundational stuff done first now let's look around here we got some horses nay we got a little little cranny down here with some water and some coal does it lead into a cave <gasps> oh it does a little bit so that's good. That's a good start for a quest. And oh, hey, iron right here. That's good. Oh, that's a good spot to start. So I'm going to build not too far away from it, though. 
I'm gonna give myself plenty of room for farmland because I want to have like some farming, you know, some uh, plants and such, plants and such crops. They're called crops, damn it. <laughs> that is what they are called. And apparently, my Facebook is wanting to butt in on this video too. Facebook says hello. <laughs> That is what I get for not closing my thing. One moment. Okay, and we are back. <laughs> yeah, it turns out it was a it was a friend of mine who was wanting to talk about something. Um, yeah. Uh, you know, she's good people. Um, well, most pretty much all my friends. Ones that I actively call friend are good people, so yeah. Um, I and I hope everybody has friends that are good people. Um, so if I'm doing my game like this and I'm putting it on YouTube, what what are we gonna do in the meantime? Because sometimes you just you watch somebody do this, and it could be interesting, it could be relaxing, and and I hope that I do get that you guys do get that from this series as well. Uh, have no idea how long it's going to go on. I don't even know how long each individual video is going to go on. Um, I do have a goal for this particular one, and that's basically just get the home base set up. Hey, piggy. You know, just get the home base set up and ready to go. And Oh, hey, there's coal. Yeah, that's going to be one of the other things. That's going to be my only exception for, like, material gathering in the in the early time. Because a lot of times, you know, if you start normally on survival mode, you know, you have to gather everything yourself. But I'm starting on creative mode because, admittedly, I do want to give myself a little bit of an advantage. Just to make it a little bit more fun for me. Um, yes, just have something here and then go and seek out all of the, all of like the irons and the golds and the diamonds. Um, and the lapis lazulis and everything. Um, and all that. And... On my own regular files, you know, I, I would I would play in uh, peaceful mode instead of easy because I really don't want to have to deal with goddamn zombies as I'm going around and spelunking everywhere. But this for for the sake of this series, I'm going to deal with that again. Uh, just because mobs don't naturally spawn for the most part, there are some areas where you turn off the mob spawning, and well, the game just ignores that. Uh, for certain areas, and of course, if I make it to the end, the Ender Dragon will still show up. But and I don't know if go away, stupid pig. I'll turn you into ham later, maybe. But um, but yeah, but yeah, uh, playing on peaceful mode, you know, just got that all out of there. How big am I gonna make this thing? Cause I'm just I just keep going and going and going. Um, this should be a this should be a good enough size, I think. Um, let's take like the top layer of earth off of this. Um, how far back do I want to go? Oh no! All right, so we're gonna make this. That's another thing. Another thing that's gonna be kind of hard for me to do with these videos is. If you've noticed, I talk a lot. <laughs> and that's just my natural motor mouth self when I get really comfortable, really into things. One, two, four, five, six, seven. Okay. So, so yeah, that's going to be like a natural thing I do. Um, so finding good cuts here and there, that's going to be a problem. Uh, but I'll, I'll try my best. A lot. You might just have like... 20, 30 minutes of just one continuous thing. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Good. Okay. Um. So, what I'm building, what I'm going to do with this shelter, with this area here, is it's going to be, again, I think I mentioned it, it's going to be pretty basic. Going to have the stone floors here, or the stone brick floors here. I can start making these into walls. Because why not? Now there have been times where I like I would use different materials for different files. Like the last one last time I did this uh on a on a uh, private personal one was uh oh god, it was I think it was like the blue warped um wood. You know, that you could pick up in the nether. 
and it was like, all right, yeah. Uh, yeah, and it's going to be interesting if there's a, like a cave, a portion of the cave that leads up here. We're going to see the bottom of this, and that's going to be kind of awesome. Um, so yeah, this is going to be a little bit more compact than what I've been doing in my own personal ones, but for the sake of this, it'll be okay. Um, where do I want the entrance? I think I'm going to put the entrance right here. Now, if you'll notice, I was counting, you know, odd numbers here, then odd numbers there. That's because I like to have my doors in the middle or openings in the middle or, or like equidistant between things yeah. or, or at least have that possibility three four five one one two three four five one two three four five boom there we go so i think i'll put it there all right um i don't know if i'm gonna make this multi-level or not i might make it multi-level um because of how i want the uh i want the damn thing set up oh by the way um, I don't think I've, I don't think it, I don't think you really see it much. But you notice I do have a custom skin. I had this on here for years. Uh, if we go do this. Yay! <laughs> it's still the old design. I need to update this because I'm going with new designs. If, if you look at some of my more recent thumbnails, you'll see the new design, but I really need to update. But, you know, but then I have to find the thing and then get all that information set up. It's a pain in the ass, honestly. But, um. Yeah, once I do, I'll update it, and I'll update it in game too. That'll be great. <laughs> um, yeah. Oh, there we go. Uh, let's see. That's three up. Uh, let's do five. Let's do five high walls here. Uh, you're probably hearing my mouse click a lot, and it's like, uh, you can hold it down. Yes, I can hold it down, and I have hold, held it down. Sometimes you want to be a little bit more precise, though. <laughs> uh. I probably over explain for a lot of people because they're like, oh, we know what Minecraft is, but I always take, I always bank on the chance that there's somebody who, this is like their first time, their first experience, their first exposure, if you will, um, to whatever I'm doing, whether it's, uh, whether it's a podcast or whether it's a video or what have you. Uh, that's how I like to go for the most part, uh, especially the first in a series. Uh, and leave the ceiling like this. Oh, before I do this, another reason why I like doing things at odd numbers here is a little bit of a symmetry here. You don't have anything right up against a wall. It's looks nice. I think it looks nice. Um, but yeah. So like for the first for the first in a series, I like to. I like to take it as though it's that a, per, a viewer's first time interacting with this particular thing. Okay. There we go. There we are. All right, and we can add a door. What kind of door do I want? Um, sometimes I'll go for the iron door just so I don't have to open it and close it every time, like manually. I think I think that's what I'll do this time. And then just put the pressure plate down. And I do realize that runs the risk of like monsters running in on it too. But that's a risk I'm willing to take. There we go. And a little little corridor to come in. So that way I don't you know. It's easier to come in and out that way. Um alright. We can add. We can add ourselves a uh, bed. I like blue, so I'm adding a blue bed. I'll add it over here. Go to sleep. <laughs> Sweet dreams are made of these. Who am I to disagree? <laughs> Alright, so. Now that we've got the basic structure set up, I'll probably end up moving some of these around too. But what I want to do, and I may have to pull this out a couple I may have to push this out a couple of them if I want to make it uh, worthwhile. And that is chest, furnace, and crafting table setups. 
Wait, what new recipe is that? Eh, I'll see you later. Um, for now, I think I will get rid of these. Because I may have to push this out a couple of blocks. But, oh, I am also going to need hoppers. I'm also going to need hoppers. <laughs> um, but yeah, so normally in, in, in my personal ones, I've been having a setup of two, uh, two furnaces, one to smelt like all my ores and everything, and one to smelt, one to cook all my food. I tend to get more ores than I do food most of the time. Uh, cause well, you know, playing on peaceful, you don't need food. But I still do it anyway, just to give myself something to do. So I'm going to do one that is going to entail uh, everything being being smelted and cooked and everything. You can set it up like so. Oh, And like this. And set up the chest quite like that. And just so it doesn't look funny, I'll just put some blocks there. There we go. Just make sure the blocks are not directly above any chest, unless they're like illuminated blocks or something, which that is a weird property. Like you put a block like that, you can't open the chest. But you put a put a goddamn glowstone block. Glowstone. You do this, and it still opens. What sense does that make? Anyway. And I know I could have used glowstone as like part of parts of the walls or whatever, but and didn't feel like it. So anyway, and from down here you can open the chests as you need. Um, so we can get some things going. Uh, I'm gonna clear myself here, clear myself, and give coal. I think it is twenty five eighty should fill me up. Yep, I. Don't remember what the exact number is, and I don't feel like busting out the calculator. But that's okay. Um, yeah, there's gonna be gonna be plenty of coal to go around. Like I said, this is gonna be the only thing that I have to, that uh, the only uh, resource that I'm gonna just go ahead and have in here right off the bat, just because going and mining for coal too often is just it's a pain in the ass. I mean, granted, so is a bunch of the other stuff, but, you know. This actually will save, uh... Okay, come on. Alright, there we go. Uh, we got that there. So, the coal, all the smelting is ready to go. All I have to do is put something up in there. It could be ores, it could be, uh, cobblestone, it could be food, doesn't matter. Uh, but... Yeah, and then of course I'm gonna have stuff for my other things. Uh, I'm gonna have, I'm gonna keep that one there. Okay, I can do that. Um, don't give, I didn't give myself a lot of room, but that's okay. Uh, I can, I can deal with that later. Um, I think I got just the basics taken care of for right now. So we've got this. Um, yeah, I think. I think I'm okay. No, wait, no, no, I'm not. Because guess whose dumbass forgot to put a crafting table down? This one. <laughs> uh, let's just set it here. And then have that set up and all of that good shit. Okay, now I think we're good. Um, Do I want to do anything special with anything? Because it doesn't look very well decorated. But another thing we can do. Put these torches on the outside. At the very least, you can mark where the entrance is. And... Yeah, it's a little excessive for light purposes, but eh, it helps. Um... Yeah, where is that... Where is that cavern I saw earlier? It's over here. Okay. So, for my purposes, I'm going to mark. go ahead and mark this. And be done with it that way you know we can see where all the entrances are there's that entrance there is this one yeah i'm just gonna gonna mark those real quick that way eh, when i start up the next one i can go ahead and go on in um, now this here i now 
Uh, the house is set up, the building is set up, but now let's set up the farm land area. So we're not quite done setting up the home base yet. We just still got to do the farmland. Um, now I may go ahead and do a little, you know, use this to kind of jumpstart the farm a little bit, but we'll 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 see what happens. <laughs> but I will at least have everything set up to where once I craft everything I need to craft, then I can go ahead and just start planting immediately. Um, and you know, you know, I think I said it a little earlier in the video, but some people, you know, some people would probably balk at me and be like, "Oh, why are you playing this way? You're not really playing." And for and for those people, I say, "Stop fucking gatekeeping." <laughs> you know, everybody plays their own way. You know, and whichever way is best for them is how they want to play. You know, it doesn't mean you're not capable of playing in other ways. I mean, hell, I've played some. Of, I mean, I cut my teeth on some of the most Nintendo hard games that the video game world has has offered, you know? I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm 38 as of this video. I grew up in the NES and Atari eras. So, yeah. I know how to make... I know how to, to beat difficult games. And I am capable of it. But, you know, some games you don't want to challenge. You know, you know not, at least not too much of one. You don't want to pull your hair out. You just want to relax. You want to have fun, you know? And some people, you know, people can speedrun this game. I think, I think, uh, oh God, where is the speedrun record for this? And I think it, it's definitely down below an hour. That's for sure. Um, which, yeah, you know, that's fun. You know, you do you. And I probably won't. There are games that I wouldn't mind speedrunning, but Minecraft is not one of them. It's a series that, it's a different series that starts with an M. And ends with an Etroid. <laughs> Those are fun to speedrun, honestly. Um, you fool! You're you're breaking away the the coal resources. Yeah, and you know I got like I got like thousands of pieces of coal sitting inside. If I am that desperate, I will get some. But that's not what those are for. Oh, Lordy B. Yeah, I I admit sometimes in these videos I'm gonna get I'm gonna get similar to my podcast, get like a little ranty and preachy and all that, but eh, who doesn't? Because <laughs> to me this is also this doubles as a, a little bit of an outlet too. That I get a lot of stuff out on on my podcast, Thespian Talk, but I don't necessarily get everything out because I'm not the only one, and I try to make a conscious effort to make sure everybody has their has their time has their space and even those who don't uh take up very much uh speaking space and and there, there have been several co-hosts that are like i'm like you know i'm, I'm, I'm sorry we're kind of running over you and then they're just like nah it's all right i'm like I'm like but it's 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 for three and, and 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 you we want you to also contribute too you know and it's like but that that is one of the things about having like multiple ghosts uh sometimes you get that in and you know what i think a lot of times it does take time because when cat when uh cat thompson was on the show like back in the long long ago like she started in 2012 and she was a little she was a little gun shy at least with uh at least with our content uh she she was already on another podcast uh, nerd to the third i did not want to do that um, which is, is a great podcast. Y'all should go listen to it. Um, but, uh, where was I going? Oh, right. But when it came to like talking about current events and everything, she was, she was a little gun shy at first, which yeah, that happens. That's fine. But, uh, then she got onto, uh, what the fuck with Josh Hadley. And I, I, I love watching and listening to her over time. Just get a lot more. I want to say mouthy, but I don't think that's the right word. Uh, just get more into it, I guess is 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 the word I want to use. Just just get like yeah, well, you know, get a lot more snarky, a lot more attitude, and a good in a, a good attitude, you know, because I know some people will be like, oh, attitude, that's a bad thing. No, no, this is a, this this is by and large a good thing, you know. Came out of her shell, at least in terms of like 
political and current events uh, over time, which I thought was a bonus and a bonus and a positive. Um, and uh, just, you know, nothing but praise I'm trying to heap on here. <laughs> and I'm also trying to make a point. And that point is, you know, if, if you are someone who you're, you're on a podcast and you know, you're, you're, you're still a little timid and such, and, and you're worried if whether or not you're doing fine or whatever. Odds are you are, you know, I think most people do understand. I especially do. If, you know, if it's taken a little time to get over that, especially if you're new. Um, cause we've had some people who are, who are new, like to the whole podcasting thing to begin with. Um, and, and they, and it just takes time, you know? I mean, hell, even myself um, takes a little time to open up to things, just in general. So, but uh, yeah, and, and, yeah, and I say this, and I'm like, and somebody who people who've watched me or, or or know me are like, wait, it took you this long to get that open on your show? Yeah, okay, maybe not on my show, but but just you know, like if I'm on some, I think there is an old episode of What the Fuck that I was on when during a. Uh, I think it was back in 2012, so it's a while ago if you can find it. Um, but I was on there, and that's probably the most timid I've been on a podcast. And I think the difference is the fact that I'm not the one running that one. And all of that. <laughs> so it's, it's kind of weird when you are used to hosting your own stuff, and you're put into a position where you're not the host. Um, which is something I honestly feel I should get, I, I should try my best to get uh, uh, more experience in. So why am I bringing this up? Why am I bringing this up? Uh, just to have something to talk about. And I hope that by bringing it up like this, it gives anybody who is, you know, if you're starting out on podcasting or if, oh, uh, no, 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 no. If you're you know, in whatever capacity, whether you're hosting, you're co-hosting, whatever, um, just, you know, there is like one person in particular I'm thinking of when I do talk about this, but, but I, I want to make it as generalized as possible to just, just so it helps more people. Um, just like, Hey, look, you know, you're, you know, it's going to take time. It's going to be fine. Um, so if you're ever if you're ever worried, don't worry. And you know your uncle Gomer here is saying uncle Gomer shit. I don't think I will ever be a biological uncle, at least not, at least not from my family tree. Because <laughs> biologically, I am an only child. So um, biologically speaking, the only way I will be an uncle to any any kids is if I marry somebody who has like siblings and they have kids. So, yeah, I think I want to keep it like that. Yeah. That'll, ooh. Yeah, I know, just random TMI, by the way. <laughs> um. Uh, yeah. Um, that should do. That should do. Um, not sure what I'm going to plant where, though. Oh, so. I think this right here is going to be the last thing we do for this video. I was like... I, I keep sometimes looking at the time and it's like, okay, how, how far along? Oh, okay. We should tar start wrapping it up then. Um, I'm going to keep with the same style as the building. I have this stone brick slab. You'll notice, you know, I had this, the stairs, and then the regular blocks, and I only use the regular blocks. <laughs> but that's okay. That that does happen. Um, My phone's trying to grab my attention too, but that's all right. Um actually doing pretty good in keeping my attention focused on this. Talking helps. Um, uh, yeah. So, so yeah, for those who listen to Thespian Talk, this is what happens when you let me go for however long um, without any co-hosts around. <laughs> but no, um, as, as I, I don't, I don't know how well I like, I, I made my point across clear, clear across though. Oh, did I? Okay, good. I say I hope I didn't have to didn't do that. Okay. Um point is when you're starting out on podcasting or what have you, um it'll get better. You know, if you're if you're feeling timid, you'll get better. 
the time and practice and all of that. And I know me on my shows, I try to make a point to let the other, you know, let the co-hosts, you know, have their say and have their time. Um, and I, and I make a point to do it like, like, Hey, so-and-so, what do you think about this? Uh, I make, I make it a point to do that. Um, just because I want them to be included because they're a part of the show for a reason, you know? Um, and that reason is I think they're cool enough to be on the show. I think they're good enough. And, and yeah, there are some that ask, and and there have been people who have asked where I've been like, eh, I don't know if it's going to work out or what have you. And yeah, those are unfortunate, but, you know, not everybody's going to gel with everybody else. The current setup right now, I think we're okay. We, we're gelling fine. Um, although I do need to stop making everybody else's points before they get to them. <laughs> uh, although I don't think I can help that, um, any more than anybody else can help the other way around. Um, stop being Joseph Joestar, damn you. Uh, I will say Joseph is my favorite Jojo. Um, right behind Jolene and Gappy. <laughs> I had to slip that in there. Um... Yeah, I think I, I think that's what I'll do. Uh, build up the walls. Right, no, not there. And I want them too high, two blocks high. And then and boom. Oh no, wait. Ba do do. All right. We're almost done. Like I said, once once this is all set up and the way I like it and all of that, then I will go ahead and turn it, you know, go ahead and end the video. But until then, but at that, this point right here, this right here, oh, it's small, it's compact, but I like it. I call it home. So you got to watch me make a home. And in the next video, we're going to go and... Start exploring, start spelunking, start getting some stuff to put in here to put this to work, and start filling these up with all sorts of shit. Uh, so we're going to clear out, we're going to clear this out, and um, make sure it's still nighttime out there. And yeah, so i um, going to end it here, and as I go to bed in this one, this is going to be probably the only one I'm going to plan this out for. Um, thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you'd like this, you know, like, subscribe, blah, 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 whatever YouTube algorithm gods say you should do to help me get higher up in the algorithm. Um, all that really good fun stuff. Um, and if you really like and you want to help financially, links are in the doobly-doo. Um, there should be a link tree down there if I haven't updated it yet. It has all of my stuff on it. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, so that's about it. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, next time will be less building, more finding. So uh, until then, this is Gomer the Ranting Thespian. Signing off.